To be fully given over to God also includes the removal from the fear of death. When you understand that Jesus Christ conquered death, hell, and the grave, when he rose from the dead, resurrected power, and set the captives free, that same power that rose him from the dead, it has the ability to dwell in you, has the ability to dwell in me. When we receive the baptism and infilling of the Holy Ghost, evidenced by speaking in other tongues, the power of the language of heaven. When this happens, there's an igniting that takes place and transformation that also comes, a kingdom identity that you were foreordained with since before the foundation of the beginning of the world was even conceived. You were in the mind of God and that whole alignment can happen in a moment once you are filled with the spirit. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you today, whatever state of mind you're in right now with all this pandemic, with families, members that might be sick with corona, with finances, maybe job losses, financial, financial situations and problems, whatever the case may be, I want you right now to not try to overcome those things, but overcome the fear, the spirit of fear. Overcome the fear of death by embracing the Holy Ghost. Overcome the fear of death by embracing Christ Jesus in his completeness. Because when you are completed in him, all of a sudden, everything else passes away. All of the, what the news says passes away. All of what people say passes away. But then it's all about what the Holy Ghost says. And the Holy Ghost says that he has come to set us free, ladies and gentlemen. No longer captivated by the spirit of oppression, bondage, and fear. But right now, understand that you have the ability. If I was to God, go right now, if I was to die, my life in Christ's hands, would, the death would only be a push into glory. Death to you when you're already walking in this thing called salvation, death to you is a push into the pearly gates, a push one step closer to seeing his face. And that's what it's all about because if you're living for this world, it's going to pass away. But he said, heaven and earth, my word shall not pass away.